Herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge NBA 2K21 und zwar spielen wir den Karrieremode. Ja und kurze Info vorab, ich werde das jetzt so machen, wenn wir im Spiel sind, dann werde ich nichts kommentieren mehr. Wir haben einen Kommentator da und ich finde, das stört einfach so ein bisschen, wenn ich noch dazwischen quatsch. Und deswegen werde ich da einfach das Mikrofon muten und wenn das Ganze vorbei ist, dann ja, geht es wieder ganz normal äh, weiter, dann quatschen wir wieder ein bisschen. Aber ich denke mal, das macht äh, die Stimmung nicht ganz so kaputt. Gut, wir hatten aufgehört hier nach unserem ersten Spiel. Jetzt machen wir mal weiter. Bin ich ja mal gespannt, wie die Story sich weiterentwickelt. Ne? Nochmal zur Info, wir spielen Power Forward. Ne? Haben ein bisschen auf Dreier geskillt. Und im Endeffekt, ja, steuerungstechnisch sind wir wie eine Wand in der Anbauwand. So, ich bin erstmal raus. Here's Day. Lays 
it in off the break. Their offense has been firing on all cylinders since the opening tip. Yeah, the D already scrambling to make adjustments before this game gets out of hand. Pass to Andrews. Back to Lee. That one falls coming off Robert Andrews' feet. Good work by the Fox. Skinny Lee perfectly set up there. Enables him to send up an assertive shot. Both teams deciding to change it up. Eagles leading. Outside, Evan. Aster Jr. Rebounded by Madison. Ace Ducey for three. Newark East grabs the miss. Indra with the ball. He's picked up by Ducey. Outside, Indra. Now Junior, right side. The kick out to Indra. Back to Junior. It's the front of the rim and out. And while every game hasn't been smooth sailing for Newark, one thing you can see from this team is they are improving each game. And Joe, that's a big credit to both Coach Bishop as well as the senior leadership on Newark. It's been a special year for this group in large parts of their hard work. Now, here's Grace. That one falls. Here's Intra. To the middle. And it's Junior missing. He can be hesitant near the rim. We saw it right there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up strong enough. Ducey, swing to Madison. Robert, Indra defending. Now here's Roberts. The D right on him. The shot by Ducey, no good. Evans up top, covered by Madison. With one on the clock. That one, no good. And so, the first quarter in the books. Eagles ahead. Welcome back, everyone. More high school sports coverage on the way as the second quarter gets started. Set it up. Well, it's been a good start for the season for the Eagles. You can see their confidence grow with each win they notch. The win helps, but this team knows they have a great roster with the addition of Junior. He's made everyone else better around him, especially with the attention he commands. The body language of this team is completely different than last year. Look how the Eagles rely on Zabirka. He always gives 110% on offense to keep the play alive and ensure they score. Pass to Lee, and the call is going to be, yep, that's an illegal screen. Illegal screens are some of the hardest calls officials have to make. Yeah, it's often so close, and you can really rule it either way. Junior, the rebound by Bishop. The Fox is trailing. Stolen by Lack. Four on three as they bring it up. Stay with it. Guarded now by Rosenberg. When they've needed a bucket, he's provided it. Now here's Lee. Connor Rosenberg on the wing. Pass to Andrews. Lee. Back to Andrews. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by Junior. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's the Dirko. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the dime. And this run has been fueled by their activity in the paint. Yeah, on the interior, it looks like they figured it out. They're practically scoring at will. Up top, Gregory. Shot to stop the run. And fouled hard that time. And he'll get two shots at the line. Jonathan Lack picks one up. This is his first opportunity at the line this evening. First free throw is good. The Eagles making a switch here. And so he makes both at the line that time. 
Now the Eagles with it. Down low. The second effort goes back up. Sadirko's shot is off. Rosenberg outside. David Gregory for three. No good. Trying to beat the buzzer. And that concludes the first half. Eagles out in front. They're up by nine. And we'll be back after halftime to start of the third quarter. And the second half getting started. Renfield playing host to Newark East here on Garden State IAA Sports. And let's talk Bishop on the Fox. He was the star of the team before Rosenberg stepped up onto varsity, but he's still a very valuable contributor. And for a kid his age, you have to applaud the way he stepped aside to let Rosenberg do his thing. That's not always easy to do when you're a teenager, but Bishop's put the team first and shown great senior leadership. Yep, that one goes. And they have no answer for them inside. As long as the defense continues to be absent, this is what they can expect. Outside, Bishop. Gregory, outside. To the paint. Andrews shoots over Marceda. Andrews misses. Yeah, the defense won't always get bailed out like that. It's Jonathan Lack with the drive. That one goes. One of the many reasons Junior's teammates appreciate him is an unselfish player who likes setting his guys up well. Lee, guarded by Day. Three-pointer from Rosenberg. Again, the miss by the Foxes. Things have really gone south for him here. Yeah, he can't buy a bucket. Not easy to shake off a cold streak like this. Tremendous effort from Junior. Clashes with some aggressive defense, but manages to release his shot and get fouled. He hits the second from the line. Roberts with the ball. They really need to make an adjustment here. Agreed. Nothing is working for them offensively. Time for a change. And with Junior, it's easy to see the natural athletic ability that he possesses. He was a great football player, and that fluidity translates to the hardwood well for him. A sluggish start to begin this second half, still scoreless. On D, they need to tighten things up in the paint. Maybe commit a few more bodies down low. Yeah, you don't want to get dominated in the paint under any circumstances. Swing to Madison. Back to Bishop. Over Evans. And that one hits back iron. And with Junior and his athleticism, he's pretty much having to learn the nuances of basketball on the fly. Well, he's played ball before, no doubt about that. The playing organized ball is a completely different beast. Suffice to say, Junior's done an excellent job adjusting to the team game. He's made one and missed one so far at the line. And that one misses. It's funny to think that not too long ago, Junior wasn't even thinking about basketball. He was focused on football. It's obvious now that he made a good call to switch to hoops. Grace. And it's blocked! Pass to Evans. Rebounded by Renfield. Just stay close to him. That was all the defender had to do right there. No good, and they can't put an end to this drought. And what a huge lead the Eagles have opened up here on the Fox. I'm not sure many expected this kind of score. It just goes to show the confidence and swagger the Stewart has been playing with so far this season. They look to be a team on a mission. A fish. <laughs> He's only a sophomore, but you can already tell there's something special about Rosenberg. Explosive in every sense of the word. To the inside, Junior, the layup off target. The Fox is really having a tough go here. Rosenberg on the wing. He's covered by Sheffield. Back to Junior. And that one drops. 
Yeah, Junior's ability to endure on the play is impressive. It really speaks to how he's developed as a player. Pass to Lee. Rosenberg outside. Outside, Bishop. No good there with the triple. Outside, Black. Junior. Count that one. And with Rosenberg, you have to be careful of his shot. He owns a very quick and deadly release. His shooting motion, though, it just looks so easy, doesn't it? One of the best shooters in the state, and it's hard to believe that he's just a sophomore. Offensive rebound. And yep, it's good. I love when Andrews hustles like this. He's being rewarded for not giving up on the play. Junior, high post. Gregory pulls it in. Outside, Bishop. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Eagles. This has been a comedy of errors. And you can add yet another one to the list. Here's Day. Junior, guarded by Gregory. Another miss by Junior. Enfield with the ball. It's a 14-point game. Pass to Gregory. Rosenberg. Here's Andrews. James Marcedo with the rebound. Inside. Here's Junior. It's rebounded by Renfield. Rosenberg outside. Another shot. Jonathan Lack with some nice D. And the center for this team, Robert Andrews, who his teammates call Big Bobby Andrews, is a looming presence for them in the paint. And even though he's a high schooler, a lot of fans will describe Andrews as having old man strength. He's just very difficult to move or get an edge on with his deceptive brawn. They really need a bucket right now. Yeah, unfortunately, it's been a while since they've scored last. And the Foxes call time here. Good timeout right there. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Oh, oh. Outside, Indra. The foul called on Roberts. That is his first foul of the game. And the free throw, no good. Here's Indra. Junior, high post. Joseph's there. And something seems to be bothering Junior out there. He's favoring his leg. Yeah, it looks like something might have gone wrong with his knee on the last trip down. You hate to see that late in a game like this one. You have to wonder if he'll be able to keep playing. Joseph, great positioning on the putback. Yeah, Joseph makes good use of his physical abilities to dominate around the basket. Wins himself a nice second chance shot. On the wing, Junior. Tries it from 16. Too long on the shot attempt. Lou Grace from beyond the arc. The rebound by Evans. And here's Endra. And with the final whistle sounding, that'll do it for us. Eagles getting a big win here in Redfield as their season of surprise continues. And once again, you can see the impact that Junior has had on the court tonight. This game was a great example of just how different this team is with him in the lineup. And Rosenberg did uh, just about everything he could to make this game as tough as possible. But Newark East got the better of them. They're looking like one of the tougher teams in the division now. Indeed they are. And that'll do it for our broadcast. On behalf of Drake and Danny, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for tuning in to our presentation of Garden State IAA Basketball. Hey, hey. Easy now. It's okay. Coach, it felt fine when I was playing. Just, just tweaked it at the end there. Mm -hmm. Just good you checked out all the same, yeah?
So, das lief doch ganz gut für uns. Wir haben gute Punkte gemacht, zum Anfang ein bisschen holprig. Und ja, ich weiß nicht, ob das Hotfix, was äh, ich glaube morgen kommen soll, die ganze Sache behebt. Oh, es geht weiter, Story. Ich bin erstmal wieder kurz ruhig. Hey. Oh, take it easy, boy. Slow down. So how am I doing now? Will you show some things. Got some good tape to show the right people. Be one people. Yeah, that's a step. You show some upside, but you still gotta step it up. Two games is still just a small sample size, but it could get the recruiters in the gym. Then you seal your deal, assuming that's okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's just a sprain. I'll probably be limiting this game, but I can still play. Just like your old man. Played through it all. Even in the championship. On a busted foot and still dropped 40. You know the story. I know all the stories, Archie. It's cold out here, man. Let's get something to eat on me. Hola, Linda. Come on. Como ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah, ay, this yeah. Uh, I'm working ay, with this kid. Pero, pero, oh, I'm working uh, with this one. I, that's Junior. Me da mo brazo, me da mo brazo. <laughs> she said you better go over and give her a hug. She remembers when you were a baby. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Please, sit on the house. Uh. Obrigada. Yeah, man, uh, photos on these walls. The man, y'all knew. I never knew that, man. Yeah, he sacrificed a lot for you and your mom. That's why I wonder if he would have been in a... Look, I'm gonna stop you right there, all right? This is not gonna be a situation where you start becoming my mentor and giving me all type of life advice, all right? Look, I'm not a victim. I don't got no daddy issues. The man you knew is just not the man I knew. That's all. So what about the next game? Uh, coach just wants me to sit until I get healthy. I agree. Isn't the game after the next one the big invitational at the, at the Barclays? A lot of elite players are going to be there from around the country. Yeah, Andrew Scott. Your father used to coach him, right? Yeah, he was tied to this family moved to New Orleans when we were 12. Y'all still talk? Yeah, here and there on social. His name is number one on every board that matters. Yeah. He's the show, which makes it easy for us to get people there who can push the needle. But that needle ain't going to budge if you're limited. All right, so what's up, Archie? I mean, Clearly, you got connections and everybody knows you. So why aren't you working some college job? Oh, I did. Big Ten, Big East. Did it for 20 years. <sighs> then competition got a little heavy. I started coloring outside the lines a little. You get banned? No, 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 nothing that dramatic. I still get a job, but when you got that scarlet letter on your chest. And I'm your way back in? That's right. I said I trust you, man. Well, you should. But your timeline is short. And if you don't got five guys like me knocking at your door, I'm probably uh, your only chance. Look, I, I loved your father like a brother. And if I was struggling, he was always there for me. In the past, I didn't think that I would have a chance to repay him. Maybe this is my shot. So please just, just think about it, right? Get back to me. Yo, Archie, hold up. I mean, yeah, yeah. All right, I won't let you down. All right. Gotcha. Give me that ball, man. Wasting my time. Make your move when you got it. You got the angle. Take the step. Commit. 
You got me, fine. Wasting Let's go. my time. I got you. I got you. That's what you gotta say. What do you expect me to say? I don't want you to say. Why don't you stop putting in the work? Put in the work, Dunya. I worked so hard on my step back, the heels on my Jordans unraveled. I gave my heart, my last breath to my team. Everyone I played for in Australia. Yeah, I heard the story before Pop is getting but old. But you're not listening. You got it all figured out now? Why? Because you got a little bit of talent because you put in a little bit of work? You gonna get old, football player. You'll see. You can cut your whole heart out for this game. What's it gonna get you? For what? Look at me. Where am I right now? You better be prepared to give everything to this game. And it still not be enough. Get your head in the game, check ball. Face up. Pick an inch. Trainer says if you play in the next game and the knee doesn't get worse, you'd be probably 60, 70 percent for the invitational next week. But if you sit out, you'll be 100 percent. Yeah, if I can play, I'm gonna play. Win games too, but I'm taking the decision out of your hands. Wait, coach, you can't. Sitting. I protect my players no matter what, even from themselves. It's too important for your health and your future. End of story. Ja, Mensch, da war ja einiges los, ne? Also den, äh, von, wie gesagt, jetzt ist mir das auch eingefallen, äh, Detroit Become Human, ne? Der Schauspieler da, der Hauptcharaktere, den man da spielt unter anderem. Ähm, ja, wie gesagt, der sieht so aus wie unser Vater. Das ist also unser Vater gewesen im Endeffekt, den wir da jetzt gesehen haben. Der andere da, der Archie ist der Kumpel von unserem Vater, der will sich revanchieren, ich weiß nicht. Bin da ein bisschen skeptisch, ne, ob er uns wirklich helfen möchte oder ein bisschen mehr in die eigene Tasche wirtschaften möchte. Ja, der ist mir ein bisschen suspekt. Ja, und der Coach hat definitiv recht. Ne, wir werden auf jeden Fall pausieren. Wir werden auf jeden Fall nichts Unüberlegtes tun. Sehe ich genauso. Wenn man verletzt ist, erst auskurieren. Ne, es bringt nichts, wenn man verletzt ist, weiterzuspielen und sich dann noch mehr verletzt. Ich gucke noch mal kurz mit euch rein hier bei Entwicklung. Ähm ob wir ein bisschen, bisschen was haben, ne? also Nahtistanzwurf, äh, das sieht alles nicht so gut aus. Muss ich ganz ehrlich mal sagen, den Freiwurf würde ich nochmal hochpushen. Ja, im Endeffekt, wenn ich das alles so angucke, unsere Werte, wir sind wirklich eine Wurst. Ne? Also das muss man ja wirklich sagen, wir sind hier wirklich der, der Letzte. Und das ist halt auch so eine Sache, was ich nicht so ganz nachvollziehen kann, warum man das, sag ich mal, so macht. Klar, man soll das ein bisschen hochspielen, aber in den Schritten und, ja, du hast nicht wirklich die Möglichkeit, sag ich mal, ähm, habt ihr ja gesehen, die Dreier, die gingen überhaupt nicht. Also ich weiß nicht, ist alles ein bisschen, naja. Wir werden sehen, wie sich das Ganze auf jeden Fall noch weiterentwickelt. Ich bin gespannt, auch wie die Story weitergeht. Das ist ja so das, was mich am meisten interessiert. Jetzt erstmal hier, wie gesagt, mein Team zocke ich nebenher immer schon so ein bisschen. Und sobald wieder ein bisschen Zeit für den Stream ist, dann gucken wir da mein Team im Stream uns das Ganze an. Und hier, wie gesagt, spielen wir die Story weiter, würde ich sagen. Würde mich freuen, wenn es euch den einen oder anderen da draußen interessiert und das mitverfolgt. Ich sagte ja, das ist so ein Herzensprojekt von mir und ich muss sagen, mir gefällt es bis jetzt oh, ganz gut, bis auf halt steuerungstechnisch und äh, ja, das Schusssystem, bin ich mal gespannt, wie sie das überarbeiten, ob es auch für My Player dann drin ist, My Team auf jeden Fall soll es drin haben, lassen wir uns alles überraschen, gucken wir einfach in der nächsten Folge, wie da der Stand der Dinge ist und damit bin ich auch wie immer raus, ciao!